So uh, um, I do have another question for you. And it's linked to, um, we mentioned in the Trusted Seed application that people could, um, yeah, if they're, we asked them if they would be open to key, uh, KYC. And so there was a proposal here, like, um, like, I think we need to give a little bit of a clarification there. Uh, but the question there was, uh, can we identify details with separate burner digital identities, which get one time anonymously linked to Mint CSAC reputation and no longer re-identifiable except via de-identified social graphs such as Bright ID? Well, I, well, I, yeah. it's a, it's a key. Well, let me just first uh, um, answer maybe the KYC part and, and mm -hmm. what we have why we have something in there like this. So in, in general, it's the, the, the topic you want to interact with or the entities you want to interact with. So if you want to have money at the end or a currency based on fiat currency in your bank account at the end, then the bank will ask you for KYC. And that's sort of the, the basic um, solution that we can, inter or that a DAO can integrate if they want to. Um, so if, if a DAO wants to integrate a KYC process, we will have the opportunity uh, to do this. Um, if I, I don't know these identity systems, or maybe Griff or whoever has knowledge of that can answer. If, if you have another use case where this is important to have, um, that you uh, have a, another way of identifying a wallet address or anything, then any any uh, solution can be can be put in place. This is a modular system, so the DAO could decide what they what they want to integrate. We've sort of been very. Uh, I always say we've been holier than the Pope on um, the legal system in Switzerland. That's that's the basis we've based it on. If you have other systems that you want to cooperate or, or integrate with, then you should uh, sort of do that connection. But maybe Griff, you can explain on the identity system here. Yeah, uh, I, I want to say that we actually require. I mean, we 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 have a trusted seed, and it's important that every commons has a trusted group of hatchers, and so there, in a way, needs to be an identity system. Uh, I am uh, part of the Bright ID DAO and an advisor to Bright ID. I'm also one of the, uh, the people who initiated IDEN three. And uh, I'm very, I think identity systems are extremely important. Uh, I didn't get into crypto to do plutocracy. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't think, I don't think anyone uh, that's not in it for the money is excited about plutocracy. So, uh, however, those decentralized identity platforms just, I would say that they're not quite ready for a prime time and we needed to cut our scope. So we're basically doing more of a community oriented identity uh, system where we just check in on people we're, uh, for the trusted seed. Uh, Lorelei and I and uh, and the whole team really just make sure that we know who everyone is. Uh, the old the old the old way, you know, where you actually just check up on people and uh, talk to them. Yeah, you talk to them <laughs> and you say, oh, yeah, OK, you're cool. You're in, you know, uh, and and of course, uh, there's also like a level of of reputation that we can let people in. Maybe we don't know them and don't trust them very much and they don't want to talk to us. We, If there's no red flags, we can still let them in uh, to a lesser degree. And so, uh, but every hatch needs to make sure that uh, they have a, a group of trusted people that, that come in. One of the cool things that we can do though, because we're, as the common stack, we're not going to have a bank account or we're gonna hopefully not have to have a bank account and we're also not launching uh, a token of value. We don't have to do KYC, and we we're doing we're doing our own social like uh, know know your know your uh, C stack token holder. But it's not uh, we're not asking for IDs. And however, people that use our system may want to. So we have to recognize that. And uh, actually, Coach B, I'd love if you talked about the K the reusable KYC process that. We are going to implement uh, that. We're excited about trying to make it life easier for projects that do want to do KYC. Uh, this is for uh, C stack token holders. So, uh, sorry, go ahead. 
Yeah, no, so the, the idea is that we we found a, a partner in Mount Pelera, which is a, also a Swiss-based uh, project, and they can offer a KYC process that you can sort of modular um, integrate into into any any process any uh, and and if you create a DAO based on on the, the common stack framework then this could be a, a module that you add to your framework and um, if you want to and so so this allows you to do a KYC process to um, uh, based on on the Swiss um, uh, regulators so it's it's uh, mostly works for the Swiss regulator. And then you can easily talk to to any bank and and confirm that you've done your process and that you can even transfer uh, crypto into fiat into a bank account if you want to, if that's your goal. But as as Griff said, it's not that's not everyone's goal. And if you stay in crypto, you don't need to have the KYC process. <laughs>